pi and 1. For this question, they say on the same axis, sketch the graph of y equals to x and y equals to cos x. Use Newton Resson method to find the roots of the equation x equals to cos x. Give your answer correct to 4 decimal place. So for the first task, we're going to sketch the graph y equals to x and y equals to cos x. For y equals to x, it's a linear graph having positive gradient. So pass to origin. So this is y equals to x. Label our x axis and y axis. For the second graph, where y equals to cos x, so cos x start with 1, then going negative 1, then continue going up, and so on. So the whole one will be 2 pi, here will be pi, so here will be pi over 2. So pi over 2 equivalent to 1.57. Then from the graph here, we notice there is an intersection point between 0 and pi over 2. So there is a root in the interval. So this one we identify our initial roots using graphical method. Then after that, we have to use newton resson method to find the roots for x cos x. First of all, for the equation x equal to cos x, we need to form it in function. So we move it to the left hand side, that it equals to 0. Here will be our function x minus cos x. So what we need in the newton resson method, we need the differential function. Differentiate x, we get 1. Differentiate cos, we get negative, 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 become positive, sine x. Then we start with the initial value. So by using the graphical method, we know that we have a root between 0 and pi over 2. So let our initial approximate value to be, let's say, 0 0.5, which is 4 in the interval of 0 and pi over 2. So let's uh, start with 0 0.5, let's say. And then we try to approximate for the first roots here. Using newton resson formula, it will be 0 0.5 minus function over differential function. So make sure you write your step fully for the first approximation. And then we can press on in, in our calculator. So before we start doing this, remember, change your mode to be radian. So once your mode in to be radian, then we can start type in our formula, which is alpha x minus function here is alpha x minus cos alpha x. Denominator will be the differential function, which is 1 plus sine alpha x. Then we start with calculate. First, initial value, 0 0.5. Then we get 0 0.7552. So what we need here is four decimal places at the end of the answer. So in calculation, we add once 2. So... 2, 2. Then we repeat the procedure here. So again, 4 decimal. And then we add once 2, it will be 4, 2. So you must write your working for the first step and second step clearly. Then for the third approximation x3, we just take down the answer. Continue until we find the repeat x. So once we have 
repeated x means we can stop already. From here, we can conclude the roots for the nonlinear equation is x equals to 0 0.73912. So correct this into four decimal place.